What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I hope the audio and everything is okay on this. I accidentally broke my G7X Mark II yesterday, literally before picking up the car. So, we have an A7 Mark II on off my dad, so thank you. Um, just before we get into this, just want a massive shout out to SRK Cars. A guy from Scott helped me out there. They, they haven't like paid for any promo, but they really helped me out getting this car. They stayed late, got me a good deal, so thank you to them. With that being said, I also have B7 Performance lanyards now available, you see them on the screen. If you want to go and grab one of these, link down below, you can grab it right now. And also, if you want to grab anything else, B75 will send you 5% discount. And with that, if you spend £50 or more, you'll get a free lanyard. So, if you haven't got it, already got anything on there, make sure you go and grab something. You don't have to add it to your basket, I'll do it manually when I go through all the orders. So, thank you all for all this support for me to be able to get my dream car. I know I said this with the RS, but this car is another level. Like, I can't physically believe even picking up and driving it and looking at it this morning, I was like, I can't believe I own this car. It's amazing in a hundred different ways. If you ever watched Optic Chrome 6 back in Black Ops 2, I was in year 11. I saw this car for the first time. I didn't have any interest in cars, and I was amazed and fell in love with this car. And I can't believe I am now get to say I own one of these. It's unreal, like, I'm in disbelief. And it's a colour I've always wanted to get a car in. Well, we're probably still rapid knowing me, but I'm so happy with this. And I know everyone usually says, oh, I just buy cheap pop spec cars. But once I didn't go pop spec, can't mind me for that. So, without further ado, here is my new car. So this is my brand new, to me anyway, M4 competition. I am sort of in disbelief that I now own this car. Like it's a dream car, I've always wanted one. Like since I first saw them on the Cream 6's channel and then I drove Ricky's and that sort of gave me the buzz. Like I literally drove the car and fell in love and was like one day I'll get one of these cars. One year and a bit later, here we have it. This is my BMW M4 competition set. Sorry if the audio is not great on this as well switch cameras to my iPhone just because it's a lot clearer for filming and it's just easier but hopefully the audio will come out okay so yeah um, I'm gonna just take you for a quick tour around it so starting off obviously we've got the competition package and the first thing you always notice is the 20 inch bad boy wheels the tires are gonna break the bank I know it will but they look so sick and I really want to put like a set of OZs on here because I always put OZs on my car I just think they're like the one of the best wheels out there um, but I'm, I, I was going to do it and I saw them in person, the cog wheels, and now I'm like, oh, they look so special in the car. When you see it, you know, that, you know it is a special M4. So I don't think, I, I don't know. I want to change them, but I'm scared to. I might just lower it, maybe put the space on it, see how it sits, and then go from there. But for, for now, they'll stay, but maybe down the line, I'll switch up and get a set of aftermarket wheels for it. Um, but as you can see, looking around, these do have the upgraded LED headlights. I wasn't even too keen on them. Well, I wasn't, wasn't that I wasn't keen, I wasn't bothered about getting them, but now I've got them. I'm so much happier. They look so sick. Like, they just, I'll unlock it quick, just so you can see it. Well, bam. They just, it's just that extra touch. And I've also got like, I don't know what it's called, I guess it's like, they usually call like a shadow pack on other cars. But instead of like the nasty chrome in the kidney grills, we have black gloss kidney grills. We have black gloss wing vent things, uh, black gloss M4 badge around the back, and we've got black exhaust tips. That is another part of like, I believe the exterior of the competition package. I don't know if, I'm pretty sure you can get in other vehicles as well, but I think with the comp that is like, you get that included with it. So obviously we've got the fully carbon fiber roof which is beautiful. Like, I, I swear to God, if I see a pigeon on it, it's getting head by like, get off the fucking roof. I love the carbon. Obviously, you can get a sunroof on these, but it don't look that good, and you lose the carbon fibre, so I really think it's a downgrade more than an upgrade, getting a, getting a sunroof. I think the carbon roof is too good to get rid of. It's not worth it. 
And obviously come around the car, all the wheels are literally brand new mint condition looking. They've probably just been redone. They look so savage. Um, you'll notice that there's not a lot of carbon fiber on the car. We do have this carbon, obviously the roof. And then we've got this um, rear spoiler. The reason for that is I could have got a non-comp with more carbon, but you can't, you can re you can replace carbon. You can buy more carbon. You can't buy more comp in a, in a way. You'll see what I mean more in the interior. So I just thought I'll get this because it's still sick and everything I want, and then I'll just buy the splitters. I'll buy the diffusion. If anything, it's more to add to the build of content so it works both ways and I can personalize it. I can like choose exactly what versions I want of the carbon. So it made more sense anyway, and there's plenty of companies out there that can sort something out with that. So obviously moving around to the back of the car, um, compared to the M3, it doesn't look as aggressive in the rear. I think that's because the rear court's the same width, but they're sort of more stretched out because it's not a five, there's a three door. The reason why I didn't go for an M3, I just think a four door, no, a three door, sorry, looks a lot more better, it looks more sporty. And the original M3s were all three door, and I just think this looks more like what the M3 should look like. I don't like five door cars. I had the RS, but it's because you had no option. I always go for three over a five if there's a version of it. Unless it's a Range Rover Vogue, then they look fucking stupid. But this just looks so sick. The back is fat. It, it needs the rear carbon diffuser to give it the full immersive look of the M4. But that's that's on its way. And I think this is pretty cool. It's, it's pretty sad. I think it's cool. But look. I've never had that before. How mad is that? That's the future. So I was very impressed with that. That is pretty sad, but all oh, everyone's gonna be crying out touch the carbon. So making our way around the vehicle, obviously we've got the blue tips. I'll throw you in a rev here. to me is sick. This is 444 brake horsepower, so because this is a competition, it's got a power increase and then a bunch of extras as well, mainly the wheels like, the wh I think it was a three grand option extra from factory to get the competition, but the wheels alone on eBay, genuine 20 inch hot wheels sell for an, at least 2,000 pounds with no tires. So you can make that money back straight away if you just sold the wheels. It was a bit of a it's just, it's a beautiful vibrate. Every angle is stunning and it looks so sick. It just looks the part like I look like a little kid driving this car because it is massive. But I don't really care. So coming into the interior, I don't know how much we would see with the lighting, but um, we've actually got a stitch dashboard you see down the chimp here. That's an optional extra. Uh, I think that is a comp comp like you get it with the comp but also an option extra. Palm and Carl sound system, so we can listen to that. Highest musical two soundtrack, full blast, a bit of toy about bet on it. Literally, it sounds insane. The, the sound system. I've never had like upgraded speakers apart from the RS and Sony, but they were literally wank. Um, with the seats, light up M Performance logo, as you can see there. That's fucking sick. Also, we've got holes in it for weight reduction. Mad, like how sick is that? Uh, we've got full carbon dash, carbon in here all the carbon it's got like the pro nav system and i think that's about it for the interior like i think that's pretty much all the extras you can really get it's got front and rear sensors and a rear camera uh, i know you can get like a better camera system but it doesn't really that doesn't faze me like i've never had a camera and sensors so it's pretty cool it's got like power foam wing mirrors um and i like the wing mirror. i like how the angle i think that's a, i think that's every m4 has that but i just think it's that little sort of touch that makes it feel more unique. It's got like puddle line under there. I've never had that, that's so cool. It's just a beautiful car. And I've always wanted a white car, but never actually gonna bought one. And I'm so happy with this. It looks so beautiful. The brakes are fat. It drives so good. And um, obviously I'll be doing a driving video next and make some stay tuned for that. Now I've been slacking real bad in the content lately, but I've just been trying to find a new car. Um, the Fiesta ST has some content coming actually. Um, we're doing a lot of work with Air Tech Motorsport to actually work with them as well. And there'll be a video probably coming up this week or next week of that. And just before I actually forget, the Driven have done like, they did like a sort of, not a documentary, but like a, a sit down, we did like a sit down talk in my unit 
a couple months ago now, but that went live yesterday. So if you can go to the link down below as well and check out that video, go, some, go show some support on their page, subscribe, like it, follow on Instagram, really good bunch of guys, and it was really fun, and it's just an interesting thing. So if you're interested in going watch that, I'll make sure you go do. I'll probably leave a clip at the end of this of like a part of it. But yeah, so this is my new M4 competition. Um, in Italy. But I keep looking and thinking, that's, that's not my car. I think when the registration's on there as well, it's just gonna finish it off, but thank you for making me be able to do these sort of things. If there's any companies watching this video that would like to work with me on this, obviously, and I wanna do some like exhaust modifications, intakes, everything and anything, I wanna make this pretty mad. Obviously, we won't get to live in our fast level mad, but hopefully we can try and get somewhere near that. I'd love, to, I'd love to put turbos on this, it'd be savage. But if that happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Fingers crossed it can. I've just got to get the right connections. But yeah, this fucking train. This is my brand new M4. Thank you. I'll leave you with this. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. And stay tuned for the next video when we actually take this out on the road. It's going to be fun and scary for me because the car fully petrifies me. I am no shame in saying that for myself. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Peace. Make sure to go grab the merch or link down below. Send it stickers are on sale, as you can see on the screen. Thank you.